This is a Skoda Fabia hatch. It's the SE. It's a one litre TSI 95 PS. I'm just going to go and see how this drives. Um, this is the new Fabia, of course, and uh, first impressions, only just sat in it. it, looks really good, very, very comfortable. Uh, let's just get down a bit. I think the person who was in before me is a, a little bit shorter. Um, right, combined fuel economy, combined miles per gallon, 61.4. Um, top speed of 114 miles per hour and 0 to 62 of 10.8 seconds. This car on the road is uh, 16,175 pounds. Recommended retail price 14,845. It's got the Armisen touchscreen navigation system, 570 pounds. Floor mats 55 pounds. Metallic paint 595, and uh, temporary steel spare 110 pounds. It's uh, it's it's a, certainly it's, it's a good-looking car. Uh, we do really well with Skodas now, they've come on so much. I've just been out in a Kodiak and uh, I, if that was my daily runabout uh, then I would be uh, a happy man. It's got wind up windows in the back and I was just taking photographs and I forgot to wind the window up so here we go. Again, first impressions. <laughs> it certainly feels like it's uh, quite a, a, a nippy little engine. There's a um, 20 mile an hour speed limit on this estate, so I need to keep it down a little bit. I can't use my uh, normal camera setup today it's just not enough time there's other people driving these cars as well so it would be unfair to monopolize them um, hopefully uh, Skoda did lend me uh, an Octavia a few weeks ago which was a lovely car and I had that for a week and you really get to know the car and live with it and get a, a better idea of how many miles the gallon it really does but um, this has got kind of a, a lovely brushed aluminium fitting or inset on the dashboard. It's a nice padded steering wheel. Multifunction. And uh, we've got height and reach adjustable there. That's a, a cattle grid. Stop the sheep getting out there. Nice uh, diagonal pattern on the exterior, on the outsides of the seats, and uh, plain cloth on the inside. filming a road test there I've got a good mind to do what people do with me and go and park directly at the side of them and say what are you doing are you taking photographs of your car security guard is behind me and it's a young lady
I think I could have gone there. <laughs> Uh, waiting to get waved on there but uh, I don't think that lady's in a very good mood today <laughs> Ferrari there. I think this is a pretty affluent part of the country. I've had a look at the cars that uh, are driving around here. You would have thought one of these might have just let me across but I'll be miserable. We just got one of the older um, uh, Fabias for one of our oldest customers a, a few months ago, and uh, over the last few months we've we've had a, a number of the, the cars, and I, I really am impressed with the way they drive, um, how well they've kept, how nice they are inside, the level of equipment. So it's. I know they used to make that advert not too long ago. We were just watching some adverts in there, the, the one where they made a, a Fabia out of a cake or, or made a, a full-size Fabia with uh, cake um, mix and so on and marzipan. But the, as I remember, a few years ago, they did one where they were on a test drive with a salesman and uh, the salesman mentions it's a Skoda and the chap pulls up and runs across a field to get away, which which is quite good. And I, I think from then on, the the mark really turned round. It's um, when I was working for a supercar dealer a few years ago, we had a, uh, a customer who was buying a Ferrari and he wanted a new Skoda for his daughter, and he said, "Can you can you get me one?" And we kind of said, well, you know, it's not really our thing. How come you don't just get one? And he said, there's a massive waiting list for them. And we couldn't believe it. And sure enough, when we tried to get a car for him, there was a waiting list. So, um, and just listening to the briefing before, the, the, the cars they've got planned and the fact that they're actually going for the the retail market as opposed to higher cars and, and, and so on, that can only be a good thing. That has got to help residuals as well. So you're getting a well-built car, well-designed, that should have a good residual value. That's purely from the, the salesman in me. Uh, also, I noticed in the, uh, in the briefing, they were everything the SE package and the other packages and so on, they were giving in cost per month as opposed to how much it, it's going to be. It's just what the, that's how customers want cars these days. Um, how much is it going to cost me a month? Can I afford it? Okay, I'll have it. So, uh, all good. And certainly, this is a nice car. One litre engine. It uh, takes off as fast as you need it to. Just see if there's actually a 
average fuel gauge on here, I'm not sure there is. If there is, it's not there. Media phone, TMC, nav car. Car, there we go. So that's showing, this is just on a, a test day. That's showing it's averaging 43.4. Bearing in mind, the cars have been ticking over there while everybody's been taking photographs and and, and I've been setting my cameras up. So uh, it's uh, an economical little car and it's all you would need for a, a second car around town sort of uh, transport. to 70 on this test drive there's quite a lot of traffic about now Shows you what gear in there, left hand side, um, rev counter, coolant temperature in the rev counter, your information display, uh, speedo and fuel gauge at the bottom, multifunction steering wheel here. Does this one have cruise? I can't, I can't really tell, let me just see. Yes, so this has cruise control as well. Just uh, increase the speed there. I set it, sit in the worst position ever. Um, long way, long way back, arms out straight, uh, and low down. So it tends to uh, block out my view of the uh, switch gear. Actually, I, I've now managed to set the speed limiter. That's it, knock that off. hands free it'll have audio streaming as well got air conditioning that's got the Wi-Fi module power socket proper handbrake electric windows electric door mirrors carrying on at the same speed so
basically this car is ticking over there's, there's no cruise on I'm in fifth it's doing just over a thousand revs at around about 28 miles an hour now uh, that's just on tick over Who needs cruise control when you can do that? <laughs> 